One thing, it, possibility it raises is this issue we've been talking about when it comes to the Hispanic vote. And is yep. the Hispanic vote becoming more of an up for grabs uh, 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 electorate here? So here's something we have. Hispanic voters without degrees in 2018, again, the post-election study, they went for Democrats by a 44-point margin. In 2020, post-election survey, this is one of the biggest shifts we saw in 2020. The post-election yep. survey showed 30 points of movement in the Republican direction among Hispanic voters without degrees. Again, Democrats winning, but their margin down to 14 points right there. We don't have good polling numbers this uh, early in the year that break it down to that level. But overall, I can tell you, Hispanic voters voted Democratic by 47 points in 18 in our mm -hmm. polling now. 15 points have been shaved off that in the Republican direction. There have been some other polls out there that have that even closer. So I think particularly Hispanic voters without college yep. degrees, we've got some evidence that there was significant movement there between 18 and 20. And I think that could be playing a role here potentially, certainly something to look at in 22.